हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी डिस्कस द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन विच से इफ वेक्टर ए क्रॉस वेक्टर बी इज इक्वल टू वेक्टर सी क्रॉस वेक्टर डी एंड वेक्टर ए क्रॉस वेक्टर सी इज इक्वल टू वेक्टर बी क्रॉस वेक्टर डी शो दैट वेक्टर ए माइनस वेक्टर डी इज पैरल टू वेक्टर बी माइनस वेक्टर सी वेयर वेक्टर ए इज नॉट इक्वल टू वेक्टर डी एंड वेक्टर बी इज नॉट इक्वल टू वेक्टर सी Before we move on to the solution, let's recall the condition when two given vectors are parallel to each other. So, if we have vector A and vector B as two non-zero vectors, then vector A cross vector B is equal to zero vector if and only if vector A is parallel to the vector B. This is the key idea that we use in this question. Let's move on to the solution now. We are given vector A cross vector B is equal to vector C cross vector D. Let this be equation one. Then we also have vector A. Cross vector C is equal to vector B cross vector D. Let this be equation two. Now, next, subtracting equation two from equation one, we get vector A cross vector B minus vector A cross vector C. Is equal to vector C cross vector D minus vector B cross vector D. So this further gives us vector A cross vector B minus vector C the whole is equal to vector C minus vector B the whole cross vector D. So. Now we have vector A cross vector B minus vector C the whole minus vector C minus vector B the whole cross vector D is equal to zero vector. Since we know that vector A cross vector B is equal to minus vector B cross vector A, so this would further give us vector A cross Vector B minus vector C the whole plus vector D cross vector C minus vector B the whole is equal to zero vector. Or you can say vector A cross vector B minus vector C the whole minus vector D cross Vector B minus vector C the whole is equal to zero vector. This gives us vector A minus vector D the whole cross vector B minus vector C is equal to zero vector. Now since the cross product of these two vectors is a zero vector, and according to the condition. Given in the key idea for the two vectors to be parallel is that the cross product should be a zero vector. So this means that vector A minus vector D is parallel to vector B minus vector C. As we are also given that vector A is not equal to vector D and Vector B is also not equal to vector C. So we have proved that vector A minus vector D is parallel to vector B minus vector C. So hence proved. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.